to confront this glaring problem of the devoidness, the um, cutting back of many creative aspects of education in this country, the United States, and throughout the world, we at Musical English and Musical Theater Programs decided many years ago, we've been in business now for 20 years, and decided many years ago that education had to really change the way that it was delivering its message. And not only the message, but change the packaging format that education was delivered in. It's much easier if things are presented in a package for us to accept it, to digest it, to then utilize it and make it our own. If it is, uh, as we have talked before, if it is simply done in a scholastic pursuit, then that means we have to recall it in order to utilize it. If we learned it last week, what are the, what are the odds of one trying to recall it a year from now, two years from now, five years from now. Yet, if we are able to deliver this educational format, program, whatever it may be, such as musical English, musical theater programs, if we're able to package them and deliver them powerfully to the student and let the student absorb it, digest it, make it their own, then they can utilize it anytime they want, as they wish. And isn't what that what true education is about? So to that end, what we did was we made the musical English, musical theater programs. So because of that, we knew that there was, was this big need and we saw how we could change that. We as educators, we as um, leaders, we as guiders and mentors of the coming generations, we decided and we knew that this was our duty. If we had that insight and we had the means and we had the know-how and the, the technology, meaning the craft, the skill to put things together and package it correctly so that it was easier for students to digest and make their own, then isn't that our responsibility and our duty to do that? So we took that as our mission and we ventured off to create from scratch, from nothing else, not using other people's material and simply adding one or two lines here, one or two lines there. We took it from a blank piece of paper to what we now, 20 years later, can proudly say are the musical English and musical theater programs. But could we do that or are we validated to do that if we don't have a fundamental foundation on which to build on? The answer is no. Then it would simply be another avant-garde or another new age type of education that most likely is not centered on reality, most likely is not founded on truism and truth. So what we did was try to discover what the truths about education are, what the best way of human education is, and what else could we think but Educating is done by nature. It's done the natural way. We can look at humans and we can also look at the nature that is around us. What do animals do? They teach their young with education, fun, play, enjoyment. That is how life is taught. So if that is true for nature, we know it's true for young youngsters. Toddlers all play, they have fun. That's how they learn in life. Well, isn't that a wonderful vehicle, a wonderful way for us to continue on in the learning process? So we processed, we packaged, we put together wonderful things. Now, the thing that we had to develop were theories because there was none, there were none. There was nothing that we could base our programs on that really were relevant. There are many theories, but ours are unique and different and shall we say revolutionary in a way and those theories are the key factors to which we built our program on <laughs>